Welcome to Devotions for Thursday, June 18th, 2020. Glad to have you with me today. I want to continue talking about Romans 6 today, but let's start first with a prayer of the day. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Teach us, good Lord, to serve you as you deserve, to give and to not count the cost, to fight and to not heed the wounds, to toil and to not seek for rest, to labor and to not ask for reward, except that of knowing that we do your will through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. We are continuing our reading of Romans chapter 6. I'm going to begin at verse 5 through 11. For if we have been united with Christ in a death like his, we will certainly also be united with him in a resurrection like his. For we know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin, because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. Now if we died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. For we know that since Christ was raised from the dead. He cannot die again. Death no longer has mastery over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. In the same way, count yourselves dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Hmm. Some interesting thoughts there. We want to be dead to sin. It if I'd like to say, I would like to say that that means we never sin again. That certainly would be ideal, but we know that we're human beings and um, we, that's just not how it works, right? Um, I, in my preparation for today, one of the resources that I looked into had a great way of expressing this. And I think this is basically one of what I want to get to cross today. Sin, what do we talk about sin as? We talk about sins of omission and commission. Maybe you remember learning that at some point. It means sins of omission are things that we didn't do. We omitted, should have done something, and I didn't do it. And sometimes that's sin. Commission are things that we committed, things that we did that were wrong towards another person, towards God, towards ourselves, sometimes towards all three. Um, and things that we did that we should not have done, things that we didn't do that we should have done, but it's more than that. Of course it is. This is not easy stuff. Simple ideas, but not always easy. Sin itself is more than just those things we do or don't do. It's actually an enslaver, a harsh and terrible slave master. Sin doesn't just hold on to me. It does, but that's not all it does. When I am in sin, it doesn't just hold on to me. It also puts me to work enslaving others as well. I think this is especially true in the sins that we do and we want to justify ourselves. We want to pull other people in. We want to say, well, I'm not the only one that does it. We look for others who might be doing things like that. And we encourage others to do things that we know are not right or avoid doing the things we know that we should do. Sin, it's bad stuff, right? Thanks be to God, we have forgiveness of our sins. We have a new day, each day to start over, to mark our foreheads again, knowing that we were baptized with Christ, his death, his life, his death, and his resurrection. We get to start over anew each day, knowing that he has blessed us and that he has given us his forgiveness, right? So we learn and hopefully we step away more and more from sin. We don't ever get it right, but Jesus makes it all right for us. Enjoy as we read through Romans on your own and together in the weeks ahead. Let's continue with our prayers. We bring our prayers before you, dear Lord, and we thank you for... We pray for our concerns for this world and for our nation. We pray for the concerns of the communities in which we live. We lift our faith communities to you in prayer. We 
We pray for our friends and our families, for those dealing with difficulty and those celebrating with joy. We especially pray for Kobe, Astrid, Marilee, Grace, Lori, Laura, Elsie, Lucy, Greg, Ron, Earl, Rodney, Judy, baby Ethan, Mary Catherine, Diana, Tina, Blanche M, Deb G, Molly, the families of Nancy, Michael, Roger, Ed, and Jim. We pray for healthcare workers, especially Cindy, Kathy, Tammy, Yata, Bob, Kathy, Kyla, Aaron, Lauren, Sarah, Megan, and Steve. Be with us this day and help us in the following ways. And help us turn away from sin. Help us turn away from the master of sin so that we do not attempt to enslave others as well. As you've taught us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.